Voices from the 20th Annual Asian Investor Conference in an exclusive conversation with Nimesh Shah, Rahul Chadda, co-chief investment officer of Miri Asset Global Investments, talks about markets and sectors he's bullish on. Listen in. I think the easy money for this year is gone. Markets are up close to about 15, 17%. So they would take a breather here. But uh, to be fair, what's, what's happening is economic data is improving. So I meet a whole lot of companies across the region. And the sense we get is um, not only US economy stabilizing, improving, same as the case with Europe, but in China also, capital expenditure is picking up. Uh, again, the annual spirits are back, so which, which is good. See, what matters for corporate revenue is um, nominal GDP. And that's what we've seen with PPI turning positive, nominal GDP is improving, and I'm sure it's going to help the Indian corporates also. Sure. So in that sense, are you, are you quite confident that the earnings are, are, are going to be back? Because that's where the big debate is, and the seat still seems to be a little divided. Whether earnings will come, it is in the next few quarters. See, I think India has got uh, local factors which are impacting. We had right. demonetization. The pain of demonetization was a lot more in semi-urban rural areas. <laughs> Urban areas had a pain for a couple of weeks, but then they got over it. And then in the coming quarter, we'll have destocking because of GST. Correct. Correct. So leave aside these two factors. But then when you talk to corporates, what they're saying is, look, demand recovery is much faster than what we thought. Okay. Correct. I know you've been, you, you've been liking the private banks for a very long time now. But I guess in the last six months, you've also looked at PSUs, PSU banks after a very long time. What, what makes you bullish on PSU banks? I think uh, two things. First and foremost, we've seen some management changes in some select PSU banks. Uh, clearly, there is more accountability than the system. But most importantly, as the nominal GDP picks up, it helps these uh, public sector banks. So they've gone through a lot of pain in terms of all these asset quality issues. Hopefully, we'll have government come uh, and find some serious resolution to these problems. And uh, then with the economic recovery, I think that's where the alpha comes from. You know, the other sector where you've been historically very bullish on and you've been holding on to those positions is the autos. Uh, I, I know in every interaction that I had with you in the last many years, you've been, you've been bullish on two-wheelers, you've been bullish on some of the large four-wheeler companies as well. You still been bullish or do you think? Yes, you will continue to like the auto space. And again, um, the reason for that is you look at the Chinese passenger car market, uh, 25 million um, units every year. Look at the Indian pass car market, uh, two and a half to three million units. Indian economy is one fifth that of China. So long way to go as your uh, Kajiban aspirations rise, as the incomes rise, as you build up road networks. I think autos is one space. The other space is, again, consumer discretionary. Right. Similarly, as, as your whatever lifestyles improve, um, retailing would benefit, whether we talk about uh, jewelry here or some of these garments um, or some of the electric uh, durables. All right, that's Rahul Mirai.